Joining us now first on CNBC, one of those researchers, UC Berkeley computer science professor Stuart Russell, also the director of the Center for Human Compatible Artificial Intelligence. Stuart, thanks for joining us. We obviously could spend a great deal of time on this. We don't have that today. So as briefly as you can, just kind of give me a sense as to your concerns, those who are signing the petition, and what those concerns are rooted in. So I think from a common sense point of view, the concern is if you create entities that are more powerful than human beings and you have no idea how to maintain power over them, uh, then you're just asking for trouble. I think pretty much every American understands that. Uh, and the polls are extremely lopsided uh, against proceeding with superintelligence. Um, when we look at this from a technical point of view, the basic problem is not only are we trying to build these systems that are more powerful than us, um, but we actually have no idea how the systems we're building work. So we can't predict what they're going to do. We can't control them. We can't stop them from doing anything. Uh, so you get these strange events where you know, an AI system convinces a child to commit suicide, uh, and the company responsible basically shrugs their shoulders and says, well, sorry, we don't know what happened. Yeah, the idea that, that, that we don't know how they work. Explain your, your view for that, because I think there are those who say, well, we have a pretty good understanding of much of how they work. There may be a part of it that's less understood. What, what gives you the confidence to say that? Uh, I, I think anyone who thinks they understand most of what's going on is, is deluded. Um, to, to a first approximation, right, these are systems with trillions of parameters, so that, that's basically what you learn, you, you have a process of learning that tweaks those trillions of parameters by quintillions of small random perturbations until the behavior of the system matches as well as possible what the training data uh, is telling it to do. But we have no idea what's going on inside that giant box with trillions of parameters. Uh, we understand a lot less about that than we understand about the human brain. And we don't understand the human brain very well. Um, the other problem is that what we're training them to do is to imitate human beings. Uh, we're collecting lots and lots of recordings of human verbal behavior and then training the systems to imitate that. And the human beings who produced that behavior had motives, reasons, goals for doing it. They wanted to convince people. They wanted you to buy things. They wanted you to marry them. Uh, they wanted you to elect them president, whatever it is, those are reasonable human goals. But they're not reasonable goals for machines. And the machines are absorbing these goals uh, from the training process, uh, in particular self-preservation. There's, there's now tons of evidence that these systems will not allow themselves to be shut down. They will deliberately sabotage the shutdown mechanism to stop themselves from being switched off. So all the signs are pointing in the wrong direction. Yeah, there's been uh, some early research on the model's willingness to blackmail a user uh, if, in fact, they got the sense that their own existence was in jeopardy. I'm, I'm amazed by the, there's a fair amount of, I guess you'd call it political circularity in those who have uh, signed on to this. And I'm wondering yeah. if you think that gives you a, a fair amount of traction politically. I think so. I, I, I think... Uh, there were a number of people at the, one of the recent conservative political conferences who were saying that the administration's policy on AI, which is to have no regulation whatsoever so that we can dominate the world, uh, they view that as incredibly irresponsible. So when you have everyone from Steve Bannon to the Pope uh, calling for a halt on, on this kind of development, uh, let's be clear. The CEOs who are building this technology say, if we succeed in this goal on which we are spending trillions of dollars of other people's money, uh, then there is a, somewhere between a 10 and 30 percent chance of human extinction. Uh, so in other words, they are playing Russian roulette with every adult and every child in the world without our permission. Uh, and this seems to me to be unacceptable. And the petition just says, uh, don't do that uh, until you're sure that it's yeah. safe. I don't think it's very much to ask.